Hi, so we're in ECB. Uh, this is where Wisconsin Racing is headquartered. Uh, we want to make a new video for you guys today, just kind of updating our progress on our eCar project so far. So over these last couple of weeks, we have made significant progress, both in building our team as well as our designs. Claude Ruel, one of the big F1 giants, one of the biggest pieces of advice he has is that you have to build an A team before you can build an A class car. So. We've been working really hard at uh, assembling a powerhouse team. From this experience, I hope to gain uh, hands-on experience working with electric vehicles and trying new things. I think that a vehicle team is a great opportunity to try things that you'd never get to experience in the classroom. As an engineer, it's hard for me to gain exposure um, in the business aspect of any project. And so being part of the business team in this, in this project will help me learn about various um, business disciplines and also how to interact with different uh, sponsors. And this student org has kind of always been in the back of my mind. Like, I always wanted to join it. And it's probably because, like, growing up, I loved cars. And I always wanted to build a car. And this is my first opportunity to really build a car. And there's a whole other social aspect to this club as well. I mean, I'm meeting great, I'm meeting people, and I have friends on this club that really say they enjoy it. And it's going to be a great time learning and just experiencing that with them. Another component of building a team is building relationships with other companies and also uh, other teams. So TE Connectivity, Texas Instruments, and Vicor have offered to sponsor our uh, electrical systems for the vehicle. Uh, I'm here to go over some of the stuff that's behind the scenes on the controls simulation and sort of overall powertrain architecture side. Uh, I have a couple cool graphics to show you today. Uh, these are all um, something that we've been working on in the past a uh, couple weeks since we launched the campaign. Uh, these are all generated by our simulation tools that we, a lot of which we've made ourselves. So uh, on the left side here you can see how um, sort of different uh, configurations of our accumulator affect its mass. Uh, this is kind of just uh, one of the nicer looking graphs, but we've been doing a lot of analysis to make sure that our accumulator is as light as possible while still able to get the job done. Um, on the top right here is a really cool graph uh, generated by our new student uh, designed lap simulator. And our lap simulator is intended to allow us to make higher level design decisions and sort of validate uh, those decisions once we're on track as a sort of uh, way to compare simulation versus real data. Uh, this is just an overhead view of a track that we generated and it's color coded by velocity. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, on the bottom left, you'll see our theoretical efficiency islands for our motor. Um, it's color coded by efficiency. And to give you an idea, this uh, y most yellow region is 96% efficient. So we're looking at some pretty efficient motors uh, for their electric car. Uh, and I think the coolest graph that we've been able to generate in the past couple weeks is one that sort of is an optim optimization graph. Uh, this graph describes the optimization of our gear reduction as a function of how it affects our lap time. So on the x-axis here, you'll see what our gear reduction is. It goes from one to 10, and this is our lap time for this particular track. So you'll see that our lap time is the shortest between a uh, gear reduction of seven and eight. So this is uh, exactly why this type of simulation tool is useful to us, so we can make these high-level design decisions. The reason why there is a global minimum for the bottom right graph is because as your gear reduction goes down, you're decreasing the amount of torque available, which is going to lower your peak acceleration. On the other hand, as your gear reduction goes up, you're lowering your top speed, which is also going to hurt lap times. So because in either extreme, you are going to uh, create longer lap times, there is going to be a minimum that will tell you exactly what gear reduction to run. We are targeting a, a, a accumulator capacity of about 6.5 kilowatt hours, which is about the capacity of 1,200 iPhones. Uh, we're currently looking at many different companies, Zalt, Melasta, LG, and Johnson Controls, just to name a few, to find the best cell to, um, to optimize our accumulator based on weight, voltage, and capacity. Are these past couple of weeks, we have finished our preliminary designs of all our safety circuits. Uh, using Altium software, we have designed over 10 custom circuits using a sheet hierarchy. So each one of these blocks uh, represents or is an abstraction of a sub-circuit. So when I open it, it should take me to that circuit at a component level, yep. So over the past couple of weeks, we've done uh, a lot of work on the safety circuits of our vehicle. So we'll be constantly measuring um, every system on the car and if there's an issue or a fault with any of those systems, uh, it'll open the shutdown circuit which will isolate 
the uh, accumulator from the high voltage system. Here you have your tractive system active light, your insulation monitoring device. Um, this is the brake plausibility circuit. Uh, here's your ready to drive sound circuit. That's kind of what that looks like. Uh, this is what the accumulator looks like from an electrical perspective. So you have your four battery segments here that are separated by uh, large accumulator isolation relays. Here you have your, your dashboard electronics. So this will provide our driver with useful data um, such as speed, um, how much energy is left in our battery, any faults, um, just, yeah, any other useful data. Uh, we've also got a good handle on our power distribution system uh, for both the high voltage and also our low voltage systems. Uh, in the weeks to come, we will be designing our processing unit, we'll, which will orchestrate all the systems on our vehicle. Over the last few weeks, uh, Wisconsin Racing has recruited several business students from the University of Wisconsin Madison Business School to help us with our marketing outreach and communication. Uh, these eight business students have helped us tremendously in our way that we want to approach our sponsor relationships relationships as well as grow our already committed sponsors. GoFundMe is another extension to that where we're trying to use as much community support in order to get this car built. Uh, so far we have raised $3,215 on like 236 shares. Going forward with a larger team we're hoping to reinvigorate this campaign so we can raise more capital in order to get this electric vehicle built. Hey everyone, first off I want to thank you so much for donating over $3,000 to this project all the students that you've now heard from and those 50 plus members who you haven't are huge into this project. It's something that transforms our lives and allows us to take everything we learn in the classroom and apply it in real life and get ourselves prepared for what we're gonna see out in industry. As you now know, we're gonna be running an all wheel drive electric vehicle with four hub motors. We've pushed very heavily in terms of design wise, getting our planetary set up, working with companies to resource these things, and also working with the companies to bring in new products and allow us to incorporate that into a vehicle. And eventually, what we're hoping to do is be able to develop an electric vehicle with this team here so that we can do that exact same thing moving on into industry. A huge part of what we try to do with this program is approach developing a vehicle in a slightly different way. We're trying to incorporate as many students as possible from all different majors, whether it's the business school, the electrical engineering school, the mechanical engineering school, bring them all into one place to work on something that's going to help us develop as engineers, but also help our school develop its chapter, bring in more people, more sponsors, show the community what we're doing, and also solve those global challenges that we're facing and are going to have to face in the future. So as you can see, we've done that with this electric vehicle driven by four hub motors. Going to electric technology has already started in the industry. So with that, I want to thank those people who have given us those $3,000 sincerely for making our dreams possible. And I really hope to inspire even more people to become part of our program, donate to us, get your name on that vehicle, show that you're helping support our students in developing electric technologies. And again, thank you so much for everything you've done for us already.